Welcome to State Scoop TV. I'm Jake Williams. Today we're here with Eric Larson. He's the Chief Operations Officer for Florida's Agency for State Technology. Eric, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So, Eric, I mean, you know, what have you what have you really been working on for the past year? Well, uh, most of my time has been spent focusing on developing our enterprise architecture, and of course, we had to uh, had to facilitate a data center move. Um, as you may know, we had a 30-day planning horizon to move a data center in 120 days. So that definitely consumed a, a large portion of our time. Yeah. How did you get that done? Um, it, it, interestingly enough, uh, the focus on enterprise architecture prepared us to be able to handle the data center move. While we were already planning on moving out of the data center by uh, June of 2019, so we had started laying the groundwork for network, making the network more robust and uh, uh, focusing on virtualization. So when the, uh, the chance came to to that golden moment, I like to refer to it, came to move the data center in such a rapid uh, time frame. Being prepared on the network and virtualization uh, really helped us do it. And interestingly enough, it actually accelerated a lot of our initiatives, um, including virtualization. It's, it's amazing how cooperative people become when they realize it's either virtualized or your equipment comes over on a truck. Right. So how are you, in, in your role, I mean, how are you really trying to bring some innovation to the way that AST does business? Well, we're a resource for the agency's uh, projects and initiatives, so, so it, bringing innovation really is exposing innovation in the broader market to our resources internally. So securely consuming cloud services by having uh, a robust authentication framework, having a, a network that can handle the, the, the throughput necessary to, to facilitate those uh, accessing those innovative technologies is really our focus in the state data center. That's great. And, I mean, you know, it's hard to believe that the 2016 is almost over, but, but what have been your biggest challenges of the year and, and really how have you overcome them? Uh, the biggest challenge, obviously, was the, the data center yeah. move. And, and overcoming them really was, came down to communication and collaboration. Uh, we couldn't have done the data center move without the full participation of the agencies. And it, uh, it really illustrates how much can be done uh, when everyone's looking the same direction down the same road and uh, everyone knows what's going on. So that, that actually uh, really has driven our success. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, I mean, uh, we've now talked to a couple folks from Florida today, and so Florida's a, pa a passionate bunch, but what, what aspect of, of your work and of your role, what aspect of that influence in technology are, are you most passionate about? Uh, right now, my focus is really on interoperability, whether that's interoperability with our on-premises data center with the cloud, or interoperability with our legacy authentication with cloud authentication, or even things like interoperability of the data that exists w across these different systems. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of value in, in, in moving down the road where the, the data can be joined together and we can gain insights from it. And so, you know, one of the great I ideas behind what makes IT tick is this idea of lowering cost. Uh, you know, how are you trying to lower the cost of government with IT? Uh, uh, lowering the cost really comes down to commoditization. Any time that we can leverage a solution where uh, a million people are using it, then, then we get the benefit of that economy of scale. Uh, historically, Florida's been big enough to, to drive our own, but now that we've gotten into a broader market where there's consumable services, our big push is to make sure that, that we can ex use as many of the commoditized services that are available and drive costs down that way. That's great. Well, Eric, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me. For more information about what's going on at the Agency for State Technology in the great state of Florida, check out statescoop.com for all the latest news and events in the state IT community. Uh, Eric Larson, the Chief Operating Officer of the great state of Florida's Agency of State Technology, is with us today, and I'm Jake Williams. Thanks for watching.